sometimes, Josh, I I lose the belief in all of this. Has that happened before? You like, lose... I don't know if it's true. Like, all of this is real. I feel like what's happened, or it does happen quite often, is people build an expectation of what spirituality is. Yeah, I do. And when and when that's not met through their own practices, it leads them to a significant disappointment, depression, yeah. and a lack of belief. Yeah, but then that's also an opportunity to evolve beyond the idea because it was the idea that was causing your suffering, and suffering is the purpose to evolve you beyond your ego. I'm tired of suffering, man, but I know everyone is. I just want to be at peace. And on your on this journey, we suffer the most because we have such a desire to experience the truth. But the truth is, is here and is now. This is the truth. And you are the master of your perception. And what you've done is you created alternate perceptions, elevated perceptions perceived by a higher level of persona. Then you gave yourself gratification for your actions. So I went plant-based. I did fasting. I did this. I'm spiritual. Yeah. This is what I need to do. I do yoga. I do meditation. I do breath work. This is what I do. But what's happened? Nothing's changed. Yeah. There's only and one true word. Making me mad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and yeah. that's what it's supposed to do because it's still not the truth. There is no truth in your practices. They are spiritually identified with, but they are not identified with spirit. So I'm supposed to do nothing. Mentally. Mentally, yeah, I, I get you. He, he wants to do something. Okay, hey, what now? I, I want the next experience, but you miss it. This now here. You think and with okay, the, some yeah. Come on, please. please. When the mind races, my my job is just to observe. You don't even need to do anything to it. You don't need to observe. You just course in the, in the beginning stages you can just recognize it for being the mind which yeah which then you know is separate from you the but then sometimes my ego it. tells me it's not the mind but that's mind. another mind it's like it's, it's like it's my it. my ego is like uh questioning my beliefs but but it's the same thing i guess we spoke about that but still, I'm you sorry. need to understand yeah. that you need to understand this yourself. It's not me, it's you. And this is why we're having this chat now, because you have to find your way through the questions that you ask me. I I can then give you a pointing to the workings within yourself. Yeah. So you, your mind will come up, it will say something, and then the mind will go, hmm, but what about this? And yeah. Before before the mind, you had no questions. You were actually quite joyful and content. Yeah. I'm writing that down. That's that's what you were. So the mind yeah. will continue to take you from this moment. And what it will do is it will interpret it in the way the ego is is programmed. So And to do this practice, you will contemplate this. You have to work. This is where the, the word reconcile works in with yourself. It's, if there's a negative thought pattern with inside, yeah. let's reconcile it through my own awareness and bring an elevated seeing, no matter what's happening. So, of course, you can attune something negative to the positive, but it's still an idea, yeah? But first, Let's work on that. So on a day-to-day -day basis, what do you say, or if it's not day-to-day, -day, what would you say the most friction-causing ideas arise within you? What are they? Questions of your beliefs? Or... Yeah, my beliefs is what uh, really hurt me the most in the last year or so. Like I was doing good for a while, and then 
that little thought came in and it became stronger. And yeah. now I'm just, I, I don't know where if I'm coming or I'm going, you know? So that, that I was doing good for a while. That's yeah. coming from yeah. gratification from the ego. You, you took some actions which made the ego reward you. Okay. Because you had this journey and you were focused on identifying practices with this spirituality and you actually did those practices then oh this is good i feel good but that feeling came from the mind okay so there is an evolution beyond this most people never see it you know most people stay boxed in spiritual ideas and they present themselves in such a way in hemp clothing with wraps on their head to give the perception to others that they are spiritual yeah and that gives them gratification because others expect them to be a certain way and it's just no different there's no more freedom in that yeah your mind is just, so complex brother i want to be the best version of myself and to do that i gotta let everything go immaculate so you are your best version of yourself you become the ultimate So my meditation in the last eight months or so are no longer deep at all. Like I just go through the process. Is this, this the reason, same reason why, basically? Uh, I'm kind of disappointed in that, but I try not to focus on it too much uh, because I know that makes it worse. So I just keep meditating. I do it. But there was times where I would meditate so deep that I would just spontaneously cry there's a reason there's a reason why we've become so computerized we have all this access to information and we have all the distractions yeah. because we're no longer in physical suffering we're no longer fighting in a fight or flight and we're now at this mental war with ourselves. so you're better off walking with your dog than you are researching spirituality. But you've built up ideas now within spirituality of all these practices that need to be done to be yourself. Yeah, and it sucks. I'm tired of it.